Okay, so where next? Mr. Wobbly Captain. Let's go through this training module, moving a train. Welcome to Train Sim World 3. Let's play. In this training module, you're going to look at making the train move, and then bringing it to a stop again. While many trains have different controls and are operated in different ways, there are basically always three controls that are common and are required to move the train. The reverser sets the direction between forwards and backwards. The brakes are used to slow or stop the train. The throttle controls how fast the train accelerates. We want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser in that direction. Okay, so that's the uh, reverser, move that to forward. Keep the brake control in release until you can see the brake pipe control needles are reading five bar, pointing upwards. Okay. This will release the brakes fully. Release the brakes until it hits five bar. Just hit five bar. Watch the brake cylinder, or BC gauge, to see it gradually reduced to zero which tells you that the brakes are now fully released and you can move the train. Brakes fully released. Apply some throttle to get the train moving. This is the good bit. Here we go. As you apply power, notice the amp bar rising. This is the amount of power being fed into the traction motors. So we're continuing my playthrough of uh, Train Sim World 3 and these are, I mean, if you, I don't know if you watched the uh, pre previous uh, videos, but these are just simple um, tutorials aimed at the new player, I suppose, or, 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 or the complete novice. Maybe this is the place you want to come to learn to uh, drive the trains. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground, and the train will only slow down very gradually. Oh, achievements unlocked. Train soon will three. First steps, bottom right hand corner. We're taking our first steps. This While the specifics of operating brakes vary from train to train, the basic process of stopping is fundamentally the same. Bring this train to a complete stop by holding the brake control in the apply state until you see the brake pipe control needle in the center of your cab desk showing about four bar. Okay, so it wants to be the amount of braking you need to apply also bar. varies depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill and how heavy your train is. So that's perfect. Spot on. Full bar. I doubt I could do that again. As quickly as that. I'm going to have to do some sort of adjustment. Stopping a train is one of the biggest challenges of controlling them. Certainly Particularly is. Particularly stopping them in the right place. Certainly is. You're right. That concludes this module. Restart the module to learn the steps again, or move on to the next module. Ah, so there we go. It's another training module completed, isn't it? So, yeah, glad I got gold. Thanks for watching. Look out for the uh, for the next uh, playthrough of Chainsaw World 3. Coming soon.